Hi, I'm Bri, and today you join me in beautiful Valencia to test out the two new Triumph 400cc motorcycles. So we've got the Speed 400 and also the Scrambler 400X that I've just spent all day testing out and having an awful lot of fun on. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my first impressions, things I like, things I'm maybe not as keen on, and also at the end, I'll tell you which one of these I would really like to own myself. So both of these bikes are 398 cc motorcycles with 39.5 horsepower. Being 400 cc's, my mind initially went straight to the Hunter for a point of comparison. However, these ones have got nearly 40 horsepower and the Hunter's got 20. So that's a really big difference. And it actually puts these bikes a lot closer to something like the Royal Enfield Interceptor, which is 47 horsepower and right at the top of the UK A2 license limit, which up until last summer, that's what I was on because of my age. So with that in mind, these ones are actually a lot nearer the top of the kind of A2 license limit than I'd initially expected, which is really exciting and hopefully We'll get into that, but hopefully it means you get a lot of bike for your money. So price-wise, these come in at just under £5,000 and £5,600 respectively, which is absolutely fantastic for something that's offered by Triumph. It's not something that I have seen before, and it really brings the market to a new audience in my eyes, myself being one of them. Previously, I've been a big fan of the larger motorcycles, but they've just been out of my They've just been out of my price range, to be honest, and that's absolutely fine. I'm only 25, so I will, I will get there one day. But this really does bring some new opportunities, and not just in terms of the price, but also in terms of things like the weight. That is a really big game changer. So size and weight here, we'll talk about that first. This one has got a particularly low seat height. So I think it's 790 millimeters. And for reference, I'm five foot six and I'm pretty sure I've got a 32 inch leg length. So I'll show you what that looks like for me. So as you can see, both of my feet there are completely flat on the ground, um, really easy to move around. And although I have been absolutely fine riding the Speed Twin 900, which is definitely a bit higher. This one feels fantastically comfortable and also would be great for those with a shorter leg. And then coming over to the Scrambler, I have been really excited to try one of the Triumph Scramblers for quite a while now, but the larger ones are quite tall and they're quite heavy which i'm quite a new rider in the big scheme of things so that is a little bit daunting to me however this one much lighter and much kind of lower and slimmer as well with the tank so i'll show you what that looks like as well so completely central there so both of my feet are exactly the same um amount down and kind of on the balls of my feet for each of them so i can really still move it around at five foot six and because of how narrow it is makes it really nice and easy to maneuver and also means your legs aren't sort of right out and um, either uncomfortable or struggling even more so to get it onto the ground so i mentioned that these were light they're actually 170 kilos and 179 which is a complete game changer to be honest for something particularly like the scrambler which is considerably lighter than the 900 and the 1200 models and if it's something that you wanted to do a little bit of off-roading with then of course if you're either a beginner not as strong or newer to off-roading then that is a really awesome opportunity so that's a little bit of an overview and then we'll go into some more of the detail of things that i particularly like so i rode the scrambler first thing this morning both of the bikes actually are kitted up as they come. There's loads of extras that you can add on, but these are the things that come as standard. So even the handguards, they come as standard. Really liked having those. As you come around, both of them actually have got this raised pillion seat, which helps to keep the seat height a bit lower. I mean, it actually was very comfortable. The, the Scrambler particularly really enjoyed how comfortable the seat was. Pegs and everything felt like they were in a great position. So the brakes, won't go too much into the details of all the stats for things like this, but both of them have got the Bybury calipers on and very responsive. Talking a little bit about the clutch. So it's actually got the torque assisted clutch and it's really lightweight and easy to use. So only needed really the tip of a finger, to be honest, to use the clutch. We made it really comfortable for riding, changing it up and down through the gears, through some of the more twisty roads. We've also got all of the 
styles on here. Kept pretty simplistic. There's not too much stuff going on. Everything is where I expected it to be. I think throughout the entire day, I only knocked the wrong button once. I'm a little bit clumsy, so that's pretty good for me. The centre dial for these, pretty, you know, similar on each of them. It shows the speed and the miles and kilometers around the side, which actually, this is something that I only realized while being here, is particularly good if you are going to take this broad. And then on the screen, you can also go through various different bits of information. And then using this button over here, this little eye button, you're able to circle through the two modes that are on the bike. So this one over here, the speed has only got one mode as standard. This one, however, has also got an off-road mode. So you can turn off the ABS and traction control. So if you're gonna take this off-road, fantastic. You're gonna have a bit more freedom to throw it around. The tires, so obviously they're very different to the ones on the speed and are much more designed for a little bit of off-roading. Obviously, these are still road-focused tires. They're not, you know, you're not gonna do anything particularly serious in terms of off-roading with the current tires that are on there but it gives you a bit of flexibility if you want to have a bit of fun on some gravel or some grass. You can also obviously change them and with a knobblier tyre and also the specced higher front mudguard, I think that would be absolutely awesome for a bit of green laning. So these are some of the things that I love about the um, Scrambler. A couple of other tiny little bits actually here, beautiful the way the stitching's done on this and nice that that comes as standard if you are going to go green laning or anything obviously much safer to have this on there and also because it's cool not everyone's going to race this but i think it's really nice that it has a number plate on the side here so then over to the speed 400 and we'll run through some of the things that i really like about this so the clip-on are in mirrors they come as standard really great visibility to be honest they also look cool in my opinion, I think they're a bit more classically styled. So I love the fact that those were on there as standard. Something I also like, that's quite a small thing, is some of the bits that are put on the bar on some of the other bikes I've ridden recently are a little bit more obvious. And I quite liked that the kind of fluids and bits were sort of a bit more tucked away. Keeps a really simple, clean line, which was nice. They've got the nice chrome on the petrol tank covers, which lovely it feels very classic as far as triumph goes the overall design of this actually same goes for the scrambler really big fan of it i like the fact that they feel like almost like the little sister of the 900s and the 1200s they're still very much within the same family still very much have a lot of the similar styling elements they're just a bit scaled down in terms of their weight their power of course but also their price and I just think it's awesome that they have that affordability, but you still get the same kind of feeling from them. One of the things that I'm slightly less keen on, and I understand why it's been done, and it is for height purposes, is the seat here, the way it comes up to the raised pillion seat. It doesn't really phase me for the scrambler, and I actually think that looks very cool with that seat. But personally, for my style, I like a more classic style bench seat and I'm slightly less of a fan of the raised pillion. Obviously, if that were to be the way that the bike was designed, it would be a lot taller. So you'd lose out on the benefit of having that nice accessible ride height. So I completely understand why it's been done. Got these great metal grab handles on the back that go all the way around, great for either pillions of course or also for attaching luggage so very helpful that those are on there there's also loads of extras that you can add in the way of luggage and accessories ones to go sort of on the back of the bikes on the side hopefully we'll insert some of those clips now and you can see what those look like but loads of options to customize it and really make it your own another tiny negative if i had to be super nitpicky and again this is all down to style doesn't affect the performance and it's only my personal opinion but i much more of a fan of the exhaust on speed than i am on the scrambler it's a cool style but it's maybe a little bit more modern than my personal taste so if i were to go for the scrambler as my own i would probably swap out the exhaust sounds good but just for something that's a little bit more retro styled final thing that i am slightly less keen on and again it's a design thing but the tank design on this one i absolutely love the the colors big fan of the stripes however 
I would love to see one of these speeds designed a little bit more like some of the older ones. You know, obviously I'm going to say that because I'm such a big fan of classic motorcycles, but to see one with sort of traditional, like the metal triangle on the side of the tank rather than the big sort of more modern style design is something that would make this bike even better in my opinion so run through some of the things that i like some of the things i'm less keen on and two of the things i've been holding back on are the sound and also the engine and how it handles so let's do sound first and then we'll come back to that other one last do we have the keys <laughs> i've just realized actually i can cut it in So the sound, particularly for a small CC bite, I really like. Yes, could, could always, could always be louder, such a personal choice. But I like the fact that it's not ridiculously loud. It's nice and comfortable. We were on these bikes all day and didn't start to annoy me or give me any kind of <laughs> headache or anything like that. Other thing I said I'd talk about last was the engine and the handling. So it's a six speed bike and the torque on this is absolutely fantastic probably one of my absolute highlights of both of the bikes you can have it in sixth gear slow right down and it will just pull again it will just pull it doesn't judder it doesn't stutter it will just go straight back up so it makes it so easy when you're riding you don't really have to give it too much thought it will just go it does pull it goes i don't know how fast because I've been pretty sensible on it, but comparing it to other bikes that are around similar kind of power and capacity, it's just say it really does go. You're not gonna have any problems with power. I didn't hit a point where I needed more and the bike didn't have it. So that was a massive thumbs up for me. And to be honest, a bit of a surprise, not something I necessarily expected to be saying about two 400cc bikes. One last point before I tell you which of these is my favorite is actually a tiny little extra thing that happened today that the Scrambler managed to kind of save me from. So my helmet, helpfully, decided to have the side piece of it come off along with the, the little screw within it and just disappear off down the road. And so we had to go back, try and find the piece of my helmet that was missing and we needed to reattach it Obviously, I'm not carrying a screwdriver on me in my pocket, so I was really hoping that these bikes would have a built-in toolbox. Thankfully, they do. It's under the seat. And it's only got a few tools in, but it had the one I needed. And I think, to be honest, for most situations, it would have the one that you needed in. So that was really helpful. And big shout out to that bike for meaning that I could actually carry on and manage to fix my helmet on the side of the road. That's not why I'm about to make the decision that I'm making, but I do have make a decision about which one is my favorite which one i would actually go for the speed i love the fact that it is a version just like the 900 that i enjoyed so much a few months ago but it is less expensive it is lighter it is lower down and in that sense it is easier to ride yes it doesn't come with the heated grips as standard but it does already have the light on the dash ready, so you can add it in to both of them, which was something I really loved on the 900. I really do rate this bike. I think it's awesome. However, I live in the countryside um, and the roads, um, respectfully to England, are pretty terrible. And something like this, a scrambler that would not in any way be bothered by that so we took these both actually on some gravel earlier today up a bit of a mountain this one i expected it to handle it pretty well this one to be honest actually did a pretty decent job but it showed just how much better this one is for off-road and how well geared up it is for that kind of thing so it's got better suspension and with the tires and the riding position it is just awesome for any kind of slightly off-road or slightly dodgily built road and for where i live and what i want to do with it that is awesome i love the idea that for such a good price for only five thousand six hundred pounds i could put some big fat tires on this and take it green laning and i could also commute to work on it for me this does pretty much all the things that i would want to see in a bike and for such an amazing price. So for that reason, I have got to pick this one as my favorite. But as I say, these are two 
really fantastic bikes amazing value for money i think they'd be good for so many people but particularly if you are newer to riding these gave me so much confidence while i was riding around some some of the roads today it really instilled a lot of confidence and i had so much fun on them so awesome bikes um really do recommend that you go and check them out so massive thank you to triumph for giving me the opportunity to test these out today and thank you all for watching